Hello and welcome to the MAC weather page for this Friday, February 15th. And again, yesterday was a pretty good day to clean up, get things shoveled up, salted up, plowed out. And we've got windy and colder uh, conditions with fairly calm uh, weather-wise uh, right into at least next Tuesday. And again, watch for uh, pretty icy roads back on the uh, rural roads. And accumulating snow may be a possibility as we get into the middle of next week. Right now, the models are pretty wishy-washy on this. So uh, definitely not a uh, sure thing in any uh, shape or manner, but something we will keep an eye on. If we look at uh, temperatures around the area this morning, mainly in the upper 20s to low 30s, cool spots. So behind that cold front, we got cold air evaction in down to 23 at Lakeview and 22 over at Nuevo. And if we look at the satellite view, you can see that system uh, moving off to the northeast, the cold front now through the area. And we'll see conditions continue to see steady or slowly falling temperatures this afternoon. Any snow showers we may get will be uh, quite brief and will last mainly just the morning. And I think high pressure will take control of our weather here. And again, we just don't see a whole lot of precipitation coming up until at least next Wednesday. And you can see on the radar this morning that area of precipitation sweeping off to the northeast. We can expect a few snow showers to pivot around the area here today, but again, mainly this morning. If we look at the weather map, that low pressure system, that's dragging the cold front now through the area as we talked about yesterday. And we're getting a pretty good pressure gradient between high pressure off to our northwest and, and that low pressure, bringing them cold northwest winds into the state of Michigan. And again, that's going to allow our temperatures to not go anywhere today. And if we look at the uh, precipitation expected through about 1 a.m. next Thursday, this would include that system for the middle of next week, you can see the GFS, you can see, doesn't show a whole lot of precipitation, about one or two tenths across the area. Now, the European has a little heavier precipitation in the form of snow through the center part of the state from southwest to northeast, about two to five inches of snow. And again, on the uh, GFS, it would take that snow band further to the south, and the Canadian actually takes it farther to the northwest. So the uh, European and the uh, Canadian have about the same amount of precipitation, but uh, take the system snows a little farther north, right across much of the area. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. Again, as I talked about yesterday and this morning, again, we'll talk about it again, is that until we get into about Sunday or early Monday, then we should have a pretty good idea on whether or not that midweek system will be impactful. Well, there is a chance it could be quite a bit stronger, and it's something we'll definitely keep an eye on. And if we look at snowfall expected here, this is a Canadian model, and the European is pretty similar. Again, only has the heavier snows right across the area from around Houghton Lake down to Flint and every, every place in between, uh, picking up two to five inches of snow. So it's something we'll keep an eye on. But until then, really pretty calm weather expected right on through early next week. As far as the uh, our in-house computer, shows about one to two inches from that system here early next week, about two-tenths of an inch of uh, liquid equivalent. So again, we'll keep an eye on uh, that system. That's about the only thing we're really watching with any great interest right now. And if we look at the... Uh, MJO right now, the Madden Julian Oscillation, certainly is favorable for cold and stormy weather across the eastern U.S. as we're into the cold phases of 8, 1, 2, and 3. Again, dominated here over the next uh, two weeks in phases 8 and 1, as it looks right now. As far as the forecast goes, you can see very windy conditions today. Gusts up to around 35, maybe even a gust close to 40 miles per hour behind that cold front. And again, temperatures will be mainly in the 20s right on through early next week with lows in the teens, maybe single digits as we get down into Tuesday morning. And again, we'll watch for a possible storm on <coughs> towards the middle of next week. But right now, the odds are about one in three that we'll have anything uh, significant, but something we should have a much better handle on as we get into uh, Saturday or Sunday, especially, I think, for Sunday. Thanks for stopping by and have yourself a great day, a great weekend, and 73s to all.